name's Tom Whitworth. Um, I'm a filmmaker from Leicestershire, uh, and I've been making films for around five years now. And we've just watched one of your works, haven't we? Yes, we have. We just watched um, Rolf, which is about uh, an Arctic explorer in, uh, who moved to East Greenland. Um, he works there as a dog musher. We watched uh, John and Gaynor, which is about a, an aging married couple who live in the middle of the Tanzanian bush. And we've just seen Coping with Drought, which is about um, various people in the sort of regions, the Pakot region, the Takana region in Kenya, um, trying to combat the sort of devastating effects of drought. How did you start? How did I start making films? Yeah. Um, I started making films. Um, I, would, I, I went to university and did a couple of degrees in film. I've always wanted to do film since I was a kid, um, mainly fiction. I was always fascinated by uh, cinema when I was, when I was a child. And, um, when I did, some, uh, I did a, a master's degree in film and TV production, and then I needed something to do when I finished. Um, and documentary was quite an easy way of doing something quite cheaply, but also doing something that was very... It was a, a, it's a storytelling medium. Even though you're, um, you know, you're film, filming real life, you're still creating a story out of it. So that's how I kind of, that's what I moved into straight afterwards, after finishing the degree. And um, from there, I've been sort of honing, honing my skills and, and, and learning the craft. And, and uh, the idea is that to really where I earn my bread and butter now is making is making documentaries. And on the side, I'm, uh, I write scripts and I, I do fiction films. How easy or, or difficult has it been? To, to uh, become a filmmaker? Yeah. Um, I would say that it's been... It's a tough road to become a, a, a professional filmmaker because there is... For one, in, in the UK, it's, the competition is very, very tough because... Um, you know, a lot of people want to do this. It's kind of like a. It's seen as being, I think, as a stigmatism, where it's seen as being cool, and 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 really, there are there are more reasons as to why people should get into film than, than just because of that. Then, um, you know, it should be about. I think with documentary, particularly, it's about giving, getting someone. I mean, some of the documentaries I've made is about, particularly the drought one, is about people get, giving a chance people to get their voice heard and, and get something on, on, on the screen you know, and, and raise awareness. Um, I think with, and that, that's, partic that's why I work abroad mainly actually, is that the competition here is so fierce that I work abroad and, and, and make money there. But at the same time, it's a very, when it comes together, it's very f fulfilling and very satisfying. and. When you when you finally feel like you're actually getting somewhere, it, it, can, it, it is a, it is a good feeling. Um, uh, fiction is a, another ball game altogether. That's that's very very tough. I mean, making documentaries is one thing, making fiction fiction and cracking that market um, is very very cutthroat. And um, slowly but surely, I'm starting to sort of creep into that market. But for now, I'm, I'm quite happy with documentary. You mentioned that uh, you work abroad. Where is this? Um, um, primarily, I work in, in East Africa. Um, I, I'm based in, in, although I'm from Leicester, I'm based in Kenya, um, based in Nairobi. And, um, and, and I get to do a lot of traveling around the East African regions, mainly primarily Rwanda and Tanzania. And I do a lot of, a lot of um, documentaries there, mainly for kind of NGOs and sort of charity organizations, but also like sort of for community corporates and things like and things for G4S and you know all the sort of businesses and things like that but um, slowly but surely I'm moving into into document, documentary out there that is it's primarily for me I mean like it's the stories that I'm interested in and, and that hopefully you know can find an audience and what would you say about the industry in, in East Africa I would say the, East, the industry in East Africa is booming at the minute. I think in, in Kenya, particularly, there's a very there's been an influx of great uh, of filmmakers that have gone there, and also um, uh, uh, certainly 
a rise in talent that, that has, has grown, I think, probably over the last five or six years, where it's actually become noticeable like how many filmmakers there are that are you know, homegrown Kenyans and, and, and um, are, are creating great work, really, really good work, and, and then, um, that needs to be championed. I think it's very important that any any country, any um, any country or any region has a, a kind of a national cinema, and I think Kenya, at the moment, is going through uh, a period where there there is change, there is there is the definite shift in an onus on filmmaking. Do you have an an online presence? Do I have an online presence? Like a website, a blog. I do. Um, I have a Vimeo uh, site, which is um, www.tomwhitworth. Um, no, sorry, it's www.vimeo.com um, forward slash Tom Whitworth Film. What would you advise someone who wants to get into the industry? I would say if you wanted to get into the film industry in any way. Uh, if it's in documentary or fiction, you just got to work very, very hard at it, and, and, and really don't hold back. Push, uh, push it as much as you can go. Write, come up with ideas, meet people. Um, I mean, there, there's no excuses not to make films anymore because you know the technology is very cheap and very accessible. Um, you know, it used to be 20 years ago, it was very, very difficult to, 20, maybe 30 years ago, it was very, very difficult to crack this market because, you know, it was an expensive way of people trying to express themselves. Um, now that's not the case. Um, so I think, really, you just got to knuckle down. You got to knuckle down, and if you want it, want it enough, then you should be able to do it. Among the works that you've done, are there works that uh, were particularly challenging, that you found particularly challenging? Um, yeah, I would say um, the two works that I've done that have been particularly challenging have been the, um, have been the one that I shot in Greenland and then the one that I did about drought, um, primarily for the... Con I mean, the opposite ends of the spectrum with sort of their conditions but Rolf was about trying to shoot in the cold and try to and shoot in a place that was minus 40 and not having your camera freeze on you and your batteries run down and, and it, um, it's a very sort of inhospitable environment and trying to make a film there was alien to me completely and I didn't expect it to be as tough as it was yet at the same time um, you learn to adapt um, to your environment and, and, and that because of the gear that we had and we, we got we got some gear from uh, Rab Clothing and that, that helped us out a lot and Gary who we filmed he, he, he basically nurtured us while we were out there and it made out our experience a lot easier but it was certainly an experience um, the, the, the coping with drought that was the opposite. I mean, I went from minus 40 to drought, which was 40 degrees, you know, and, and, and it, it, the, the areas that we were going to and visiting, a lot of people didn't have any food. So that, mean we, that meant we didn't eat. Um, there wasn't a lot of water, so that meant we didn't drink. Um, and we, we went, really went through the ringer to, to, to make the film that we made. Um, and that, I would say that was actually a harder experience than it was going into the cold. Um, and, you know, I, I think, I, think I, came, I came back from that, that trip, I visited the doctor, my blood pressure was like that of a 60-year-old or something like that. And then it just it slowed down after, I don't know, it went down after about a couple of days or something. But it was a really, that was a really tough, tough shoot. Um, but a very rewarding one. And I got to meet some incredible people that, who, really are far worse off than I am, so I should be grateful, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.